This video shows how to translate a printed circuit board from a Cadence SPB tool to ANSYS SI Wave. Some generic formats used in the electronics industry to exchange PCB data include Gerber, ODB++, and IPC2581. ANSYS SI Wave supports all these formats to promote collaboration between different vendors, but some formats are easier to use than others. To translate an ECAD design from a Cadence tool such as APD, SIP, or Allegro, to ANSYS SI Wave, the best format to use is IPC 2581 Revision B. The import process is simple and accurate with this format. Translation from ODB++ version 8 also works, but requires some additional effort for the user. A Gerber file can be used also, but we don't recommend it because it only contains geometry. Most electrical and stack-up information is lost when going through Gerber. IPC 2581 is a widely used open file format for transferring PCB manufacturing data. In addition to geometry, it preserves the layer stackup, components, materials, and other information critical for electrical analysis. As an example, here is an SODIM memory module layout created in Cadence. When you open the layout in Allegro, APD, or SIP, Use the IPC 2581 data transfer capability in those products to export the design to a file. This operation invokes an export dialog box. In the export dialog, use the following options for successful import to ANSYS products. Use IPC 2581 revision B. Set the functional mode to user def. Accept the default settings. All the checkboxes should be active except for the one to export cross-section data only. Once translated, the exported XML or CVG file can be opened in ANSYS SI Wave. In SI Wave, go to the Import tab. Select IPC 2581 to open the import dialog. Browse to the exported file. Click the XML document to include it. Press Open. The Select Nets dialog will appear. We'll import all 525 nets. Press the Import Configuration button. The design appears in SI Wave. This is the View 2581 freeware application for viewing IPC 2581 data files. I've opened the IPC 2581 XML file exported from Cadence in this application. We see that all of the geometry of the original board, including the traces and the planes, has been translated into SI Wave. Invoke the layer stackup editor in SI Wave from the toolbar or by hitting Ctrl L. All the metal and dielectric layers and their materials are present in SI Wave. Let's compare this with the translated layer stackup. This dialog in View 2581 displays the metal and solder mask layers. Compare the two stackups. You can see that SI Wave has imported all the metal, dielectric, and solder mask layers. The silkscreen layers are not important for electrical analysis, and so SI Wave has ignored them. The internal dielectric layers are not shown in the free viewer, but they are present in the IPC 2581 XML file. So are the dielectric constants and loss tangents. Adjust these values in SI Wave if necessary. Components are also translated. Let's check them. Expand a couple of resistor families as shown here. RK0 is 36 ohms. RK2 is 75 ohms. Similarly, expand a couple of capacitor families. CK0 is 3.3 picofarads. CV0 is 2.2 microfarads. So the components with their different predefined values came in correctly. This video showed how to translate a Cadence board or package design to SI Wave using IPC 2581 files. If you follow the steps shown here, you should get an accurate layout translation with all the information needed for a signal integrity simulation in ANSYS SI Wave. Thanks for watching.